Best place to start out is a CERT 110 pistol. Uh, the CERT 110 pistol essentially has functional features of a Glock, Glock 17 or 22. The Glock 17 is a full-size 9mm and the 22 is a 40 caliber, but they're really the same platform, um, the same, same feel and what have you. Uh, no, no affiliation with Glock uh, whatsoever, just functional features of those fine pistols. Um, we have a few options here because in summary, you can have either a metal slide or a plastic slide. And then you can have a green shot indicating laser or a red shot indicating laser. That makes a little bit of a, of a matrix of, of two by two. So there's essentially four options when you jump into a 110. We call the polymer slide with the red laser the performer model. The performer model is just, it just, it's just sort of the nickname for it, okay? Uh, it's very, very popular because it is less expensive. The metal slide and the green laser, it's a good lion's share of the cost of goods on that unit. We use top of the line materials for, for, and components for, for both those. So uh, going to polymer slide and, and red shot indicating laser uh, just, just makes sense to have an economical model. This is very popular for a lot of instructors that want to outfit their class, uh, doing a lot of manipulation skills as far as just trigger control and the draw and, you know, just, you know, compromise shooting positions and, you know, a whole assortment of things. It's a nice outfit with performers because they're, they're approximately about, about a little more than half the price of a full size, uh, we call it a pro model. All right. So. What, what, what are these like, okay, it's, it's, you know, it's patterned after functional features of a, of a Glock, but, but still what, what, what can I do with a cert pistol? All right. Uh, well, you can hit mag changes. All right. The slide is static. I mean, the slide does not move. Uh, we reserve training for slide manipulation with your live fire gun. All right. When it comes to training, you have to do on the range, recoil management, slide lock stimulus and malfunction recognition and clearance. Those can only be trained on the range. And any slide manipulation, uh, it really makes the most sense to just to do that with your live fire tool because there's so many things that go along with that. Like do you eject a round or does a round not come out? Do you have to have the full range? Like Airsoft can have a training scar because it's so easy to rack and stuff. So, so that, that's really why the, the slide is static. And also because this is so heavily used in defensive tactics, uh, it can't break. So, um, uh, you know, cause, cause those DT guys can actually break live fire guns. They're really getting after it. So static slide. All right. Um, there is a take up laser, all right. The take up laser, all of our cert platforms, um, have a take up laser. In this case, there's a switch on top in the 110. You pop that back and what you have is a, I'll hit the camera here, like a red take up and then a green shot indication. These are offset from one another. Um, the take up laser can be aligned with sight picture. Oftentimes it is not aligned with sight picture. Depends how you set up your, your, your training, how you want to set it up. Okay. Why do we have a take up laser? Okay. Why does this laser, um, take up when it, when we prep the trigger like this, you prep the trigger, you push it halfway, this red laser comes on. And then when we break the shot, then the upper green laser, we call that the shot indicating laser comes on with the, with, in, in a pro model, it's, that is a powerful green laser. Why do we have that? Because there's a lot to do with pistol craft where the prep is quite important because you want to have proper trigger control of prep, break, reset. That means bring this trigger forward and reprep. So there's a lot of drills where essentially you just want to keep that lower red laser on. All right. When you come into a target, you want to have the trigger prepped up. You want to make sure your fingers not on the trigger at times. Um, for safety reasons. So, so that, that is why the prep is there. It gives, gives you, there's a lot of drills around that. I'm just explaining the basic, the functionality right now, but you can also turn that off. All right. All search is a switch on top. You can turn that red prep off. So then it's just shot indication because sometimes a lot of drills, um, it's just too busy to have the red laser on. Um, so you just want to take it off and just have, just have the pure shot indication for that validation. Okay. So that's the deal with the prep. Also, you can do mag changes. All right. Okay. And by the way, this goes for the performer model. Oh, excuse me. That goes for the uh, performer model and the pro model. All right. Everything I'm, I'm discussing here. Okay. You can replace the sights. All right. It comes with some fairly stock vanilla uh, black sights. And, that, and that's for a reason too. Uh, 
because because the, the sites are meant to be fairly non-descriptive, just coming out of the box, because you have to see them more. And also, a lot of people replace their sites, so but you can easily replace them. Okay, um, you can take the slide off in both these models by popping these two pins right here. Okay. Uh, just use a little punch and a hammer. Sometimes it just this press out. They're on there pretty tight though, because we don't want it to, to come off. And then of course you have mag changes for each one of these. And you can buy extra magazines and just work mag changes as far as the insertion part of it. On the range, you have to you know, train slide lock stimulus and reacting to that. But but those skills are reserved for your live fire gun. All right. So that is that is a basic um, um, 110. Um, Features you, the trigger is adjustable on these, but that does require removing the slide and adjusting uh, these um, these little roller pins that live inside, like say right behind here. Okay, I won't do that right now, but you pop these two, uh, this one and and this one, these two pins out. Boom, can remove it and then get in there and, and adjust the trigger. But it's, it's it's a little less accessible. That is that is this feature. So the big question here you may have is okay um i'm a glock shooter uh, i or i want to get you know a, a 110 but sh would i regret getting a performer right um i don't think you will regret going the more economical route getting a performer and i guess i say that against my own interest because obviously i want to sell you a, you know the biggest you know car the biggest gun or whatever as a salesman but 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 i don't think anyone's really regret purchasing a performer because I think one, if they upgrade, it's nice to have an extra cert around. Um, it's nice to have an extra cert around the, the house and what have you, just to kind of pick it up and get, I uh, call it uncalibrated trainings. All right, so you can get a lot of your trainings with the cert. It can be just that quick, all right? And uh, get a natural point of aim drill in. Um, a lot of people like can sell their, their performer if they want to upgrade to a pro, because a pro is just nice. If you get one in your hands, you'll know why we're so adamant about the, the metal slide, that full weight and hefty feel to it. Uh, the green laser is much more powerful outside, much more visually receptive. It's the way our M cells work, our, our percentage of green receptive cells. So uh, you know that's why the green laser is so nice because it's very powerful um, outside. But here's the thing, this gets a little bit confusing. It's not really just a performer or a pro that's in this little matrix that's this sort of going to one extreme to the other. You could get a polymer slide with a green laser, okay? And likewise, you can get a metal slide with a red laser, all right? And so it, it's your choice, but it, what tends to happen, people either go economical, get a performer, or they go full bore and get a pro. That's, that's, that's sort of where things usually shake out. Some targeting systems, like little targets out there that, that we work with, thought we work with, only respond to a red laser. So you gotta consider that if you're using some targets. And the red laser really works indoors quite well, what have you. But if you go outdoors or have light, the green is just, it's, they, they say, don't quote me on this, like it's seven times more powerful. It, it's the same wattage, but, but with the way our eyes work on our receptors, it, it is more visually, visually receptive, particularly, particularly outside in a competing ambient light. I think that's all I got for the, the 110 models, which, which comes to mind right now. Um, but there is a big question lurking. It's like, okay, what about the 115, right? What about that? that? That's similar platform. So let's talk about that in the next video.